Close your eyes, watch your breath. See what kind of breathing is comfortable right now. You're trying to create a home for the mind here. It's as if the body was a house, but the house needs to be fixed up so it can be a real home. And you start with the breath. Of all the elements in the body, that's the one that's most responsive to the mind. You can try long breathing, short breathing, fast, slow, heavy, light. You get to choose. It's like going into one of those home decorating stores where they have lots and lots of options. You're creating your concentration home here. And an important part of concentration is you like being with the object. So make the breath something you like being with. After all, it is the force of life. And if you don't like your own breath, the body's really going to be hard up. Because it's through the breath that we get to adjust the other parts of the body, get to know the other parts of the body. And it's the part of the body that impinges most directly on the mind. So you want to be on good terms. So just as you would choose different colors of tile or different colors of paint for the house, try different kinds of breathing, different furniture. You want something that's comfortable, but not so comfortable that you fall asleep. Because your, your house has both a living room and a resting room, a bedroom, but it also has an office, because there's work to be done here. So adjust the, the furniture of the house so it's just right for the job at hand. In other words, once the breath is comfortable, go through all the different parts of the body. Make sure the breath flows easily all the way down to the tips of your toes, spaces between the toes. So you feel really good being here. You can be in any other room in the any room in the house, and it's a good place to be. And make sure that your windows and doors open and close. So when something bad comes in from outside, you can close the windows. In other words, people will be saying things that are going to irritate you, but you don't have to bring them into the house. They can stay outside in the yard. You know they're there. You can see them through the window, but you don't have to bring them in. It's when we bring other people's words into our house, that's when we have trouble. It's as if they released a rabid dog, then you bring the rabid dog into the house. Of course it's going to chase you around. So know when to open the windows and when to close them, when to open the doors, when to close them, who to let in, who not to let in. And at the same time, your own animals in the house, sometimes you have to make sure they don't go running out to disturb the neighbors. You keep them well fed inside. In other words, you feed everything inside with the comfort of the breath. And the animals in the house, your pets, will start to behave better because they're well fed. And the human beings get to behave better as well. So you've got a house, you've got good food, you've got comfortable furniture. This is a good place to stay. You leave this only when you really have to, and then you come back whenever your work is done. And that way you've got your mind well protected, with a strong sense of well-being. 